Good morning. This is Tricia Simmons with the Etowah Valley Historical Society's Oral History Committee. And we're here on um, 40 Etowah Drive in my home. And we're going to interview this morning, thanks to her agreeing to do so, Mrs. Helen Bridges Calhoun. And um, this is September the 13th, 2008. Helen, it's so nice for you to come and, and let us talk with you and learn about Cartersville when you were born and when you were a child. And <clears throat> you tell me where you were born. I was born over on Gilmer Street, which is right where the Western, Western Museum is now. Oh, the Booth Western. Booth okay. Western. Mm -hmm. And what was that neighborhood like then? Well, it was just all one big family. There was all, all kinds. We had one in there who kept up with everything that was going on. Oh, that's typical. There was a big family across the street from me that mm -hmm. seemed like my second family, the Gaines family. They're all gone oh, now. Oh, was that uh, Millie Gaines? Mm. No, 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 no. Different Gaines. A different Gaines, mm -hmm. okay. There were about five or six of those children. Not Liz. Not what? Liz Gaines, mm -mm. Lib Gaines. Mm -mm. Okay, no. Okay. Well, that, and uh, so they're all gone now. Well, you just had a big birthday last week. I sure did. And will you tell us how old you were? I was just turned 93. Well, good for you and congratulations. You. That is marvelous. And you're just so healthy and just doing wonderfully. And Thank you. what a blessing that is, Helen. It is. It I really thank God is. every day. Uh huh. What was your role in the family? Did you have well, did you have siblings? Yes, I had two brothers. I was right in the middle of them. Mm -hmm. uh, Margaret's uh, husband was the younger. I mm -hmm. was in the middle, and then I had one six years older than me. Okay, a brother. And, okay, and Bud was your baby brother mm -hmm. then. Okay, and uh, he was at one time superintendent of schools around yes, here. And he when was. I taught school mm -hmm. at the middle school. He was the he was on the board, mm -hmm. president of the board, and I admired him much. That he was always on the he was really teacher into education. side. Yeah. yeah, and he'd walk through those schools, and the kids just uh -huh. loved to hear him come in. What were your siblings like back when you were children? Well, they were just regular children, I guess. <laughs> but uh, I was, like I said, I was it right in the middle. Yeah, and uh, I, I, I just don't. You didn't think of anything different? No. No. You had a happy child. Happy child. That's wonderful. At school, what were you like? Well, I was an average student. Mm -hmm. And uh, ne and I've thought of it many times since then. If I had really applied myself, I could have made top grades. I just was mediocre. OK. <laughs> <laughs> uh, other than family, who were the most important people in your life when you were growing up? I guess it was that Gaines family. OK. Because uh, one of them, Robert Thune's wife, was one of them. Oh, I knew I knew some gangs around here. Uh -huh. Yes, I remember her. And uh -huh. uh, Ruth, and we were yes. we were best friends. Yes, and they had a sister too. Oh, they had several. Francis, there was yeah, an uh, older son, and then Francis, and uh, there was one that lived out here on West Avenue, and uh, and her husband uh, before she um, before they passed away. Elizabeth Bradford. Elizabeth, yes. Well, Bradford, mm -hmm, yes. Mm -hmm. oh, yes, that's exactly who it was. Um, what were the happiest times of your childhood? Well, things I look back on now are when, you know, years ago when we went, went to the grocery store, we didn't just go in and pick up what we want. We told the clerk what we wanted, and they went and got it. Oh, okay. Well, the Gaines, Miss Gaines, well, she was, she was like a second mother, mm -hmm. and we'd my mother would call her when, every time we have an ache or pain. Before she called the doctor, she'd call me again. Okay. So they made a, it, it was just an event that I will never forget. They on Saturday night went to the grocery store, and Ruth and I went with them. Some of them all, didn't all go with Ruth. And mm -hmm. them uh, her buying groceries that way, and I'll take a bag of sour flour, and, or I'll take a box of salt, and they mm -hmm. bring it and bring it. And and that, to me, I just thoroughly enjoyed that. Okay, and they went every Saturday night? Yes, that's when uh, they bought that's groceries. That's when they bought their groceries. Mm -hmm. How interesting. Were you, were there, what was your, dis, what was the happiest time of your childhood? 
Did I just ask? Well, that was part of it. Mm-hmm. But uh, mm, I can't. I can't think of. It was always things. good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what was your biggest disappointment? Well, I guess that I didn't get started on uh, getting any more education. It was kind of mm -hmm. nip and tuck, and we had to. Mm -hmm. It was a while before I really got to took a what we call a business course and got mm -hmm. to learn to do uh, that kind of work. Okay. Okay. So money was tight back then, mm -hmm. wasn't it? And mm -hmm. it was hard. What were your hobbies as a child? I don't know that I had one. Played dolls, I bet you. Well, yeah, I had, <laughs> I had dolls. Oh, when you were young, what did you imagine your adult life would be like? Well, I just was hoping I'd have be married and have a family. Well, uh, that's not unusual. <laughs> now, well, let's talk about your work. What was your first job and how did you get it? No, oh, brother. Now, Margaret's heard this enough. She, she knows what I'm going to say. Well, that's okay. Because I tell her kids about this often. I got out of school and uh, worked at a 10 cent store but mm -hmm. right out of school. Yes. And uh, that at that time, you started off, you worked. You went to work at 7.30 in the morning, and you worked till 6 at night. And then you worked on Saturday from 7.30 till 10 o'clock. And you started off at $7 a week. Oh, my goodness. And oh if you made goodness. good, you got on up. So I, I got on up to 9 to $10 a week. Well, good for you. That. <laughs> That's but, great. Where but was then, that? Then I, I, this is what I like to tell them. Then I was making. I gave my mother two dollars a week. Mm-hmm. What? Okay. That was room and board. board. Mm -hmm. Two dollars a week. I put a dollar in my church envelope. Mm -hmm. I bought my clothes and I saved money. How wonderful! <laughs> How wonderful! But I think they doubt me on that. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've, I'm enough in that generation that I I know you can do that. I knew you could. I remember when coats were a nickel too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, how did you decide to um, enter that field? Was that just the only job you could get? Well, yeah, that was the only, only thing I was qualified to do. Yeah, and, and then what did what happened? Then I took a co uh, I went to a road with Mr. Percy Cox. He's been dead for, I don't know, 20 years, I guess. But anyway, he, he got a job with the telephone company in Atlanta, and he drove his car every morning and came back in the afternoon. Oh, he was so the first So I rode commuter. down to to draw on a <coughs> business college mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, took a business course. I did that for six or eight months. Yes. And down and back with him. And then in between there were things to do that you, know, you had to kill some time. Yes. And so I'd go shopping for different people. Yeah, okay, and, uh, from here. I, I remember Miss Lillian Green owned a, a, a bookshop, bookstore down on Public Square it is now. Mm -hmm. And she would call me ever so often asked me to pick up something for her. Oh, goodness. Okay. So you just stayed all day even though your school mm -hmm. didn't last no, all day. Yeah, I had to had to do something in between. It got out of school about 2 o'clock and he didn't leave till about 4.35. I see. So well, he to... was really the, one of the first commuters mm -hmm. into Atlanta. Yeah. yeah, my word. And that was a... How long did it take you to get there in the mornings? To get to Atlanta? Uh, yeah. Well, it must have been close to an hour. I don't, I don't know. I'm sure it must have been because the four lane wasn't there mm -hmm. then, was it? No. No. Mm -mm. Yeah. Uh, did your parents influence you, your approach to to work or, or your choice of jobs? Well, my my dad died when I was ten years old. Oh my goodness. So my mother raised three of us on mm -hmm. her own, more or less. Although she had some financial help from somebody who raised her as a parent. Mm -hmm. and, uh, mm -hmm. So she, she really did have some influence, yes. although that was what I thought, decided I wanted to do. Yes, okay, because she, she helped you, encouraged you to go to business school then. And you just let us know that money was a factor in oh, your yeah. life. Yes. When, was there one person, a mentor maybe, who had the biggest impact on your working time? On my working time. Now, what do you mean by that? Somebody you worked with or worked for that when you, well, once, once you got that job I, after I, you. I got, 
after I got out of school, I got a job at uh, EZ Mills in the office. Okay. And uh, Mr. Pete Morris was my, I was his secretary for a number of years. I see. And I guess he, he and his wife had quite an impact on me. Okay. Yeah. Uh, did they have children of their own? Yes, they did. Yeah. But they took you under their wing, too. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. Is there anything you think is absolutely crucial to success at work? You have to love it. Mm -hmm. You have to love what you do. That's, that's certainly wonderful, truly. What was the best job you ever had? Well, I guess that was because it was, it was the only one I had. I worked for about seven or eight years, and mm -hmm. then I uh, got off long enough to have a baby. Yes. One, one and only. Okay. And uh, We'll talk about that one then later. later uh, Later, she, the girl, came at 16, took my place while I had my baby. And then okay. I went back, and then I went back for her years later when she started having her family. Oh, my goodness. Work. So you married while you were working there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, did you, let's see. On balance, did you like your chosen career? Yes. Okay. If you had it to do all again, over again, would you choose the same path? I think I would. All right. Now we're going to talk about your family and okay. your love life. Were you and your spouse, and it, you said it was Mr. Homer mm -hmm. L., uh, you married Mr. Homer L. Um, Calhoun. Mm -hmm. Was he from here? He was from Macon. Macon? Macon. He came to, to EZ. I okay. Was in the office, and uh -huh. he came to fill in for um, whatever the guy's name, I can't think of it now, who operated the Southern Cotton Oil Company because okay. he was going into service. Okay. And so he. This he was during the war. The, the, uh, another friend in the office knew him and knew he was about ready to go back to Macon, so mm -hmm. they hired him and he started working. Oh, and that's the, how you the, met him here. In the payroll and and uh, in the office part. Okay. Did, was it love from the start, no. or did you have to? No, uh, it took a did, while. Took, <laughs> it took a while, while. <laughs> for the relationship. Okay. And when did you decide to have children? Well, it was four years later before we really, really did. Okay, okay. Over the years, what was the most rewarding thing about having your child? Most rewarding thing? Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm. Well, I know you loved him. <laughs> well, yeah, having somebody else to love, I yeah, guess. And, yeah, and it is a boy. It was a boy. Mm -hmm. And what about him? Where is he now? He's he's still in Macon. Oh, he went he went to Macon. In fact, he just just a few, just a well, first of May, retired at sixty. Okay. And he was at at Warner Robins Air Force Base. I see. And he was he. Uh, was he in the Air Force or was he? No, he wasn't in the Air Force. Civil service. But he he did he did go to uh, Florida for to work on the space center. Oh, oh, and, good. Uh, I went down with with his two of his sisters one year while he was there, and it was in the winter time, and that was when I, everybody up here had a whole bunch of snow, and there were, they had 16 inches in Macon. Oh my word! So we we had uh, what was that? What's that? Uh, the blizzard of '93? No. No, no, no. That that wasn't the one. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, the the we got to go to the out to where everybody goes down in Florida. Where is it? Oh, to Cape Canaveral, uh -huh. Cape Canaveral. We had, we got to go through every. Well, we just had a nice visit. Good, good. <laughs> and now, who worked there? Your your son did. Son. Mm -hmm. Okay. He's like an aeronautical engineer. Oh wow! He must have gone to Georgia Tech or someplace like that. Or did he just learn it on the job? He went to the University of Tennessee. Oh, um, of course. Of course. He had already had accepted to go to Auburn. Okay. And so this may be off the what no, you want. No, that's fine. It's your so family. Bud, her husband, said, let me take him up to UT and show him around. <laughs> so he did. Yeah. And when he came back, he said, I want to go to these Tennessee. See. Okay. So that's where he got his mm -hmm. uh, degree. What was your favorite, um, well, what do you remember as the best times you had as a family? As a family, just going off a little, little I've never been on any major trip. Okay. Just like we would go in the summertime, we'd go to Daytona Beach for okay. a week. 
And then uh, in the fall, we go to Gatlinburg and yeah. spend a week. Okay. And just those those, those trips. Those things. Was, mm -hmm. and, and you went as a family, you mm -hmm. and your husband and your... What is your son's name? Joe. Joe. Okay. Did you... Uh, what was the worst thing you went through as your family, as a family? The war, I guess the World War II when the, when the two boys had to go. When your brothers had My to go. My brothers had okay. to go. Well, was your husband in World no, War II? No. Okay. Okay. Well, you weren't married. Well, were you married then? I married in 44. Okay. So you were a war bride mm -hmm. in a way. Yeah. Yeah, in a way. Mm-hmm. Um, did you dream about doing anything special? Do, not, do I now dream about no, doing No, did you then? Did you then? Dream about doing anything different? No, I guess I just didn't have much ambition. Well, <laughs> no. You were satisfied with mm -hmm. what you had. That You know, that's a real... Yeah, it uh, goes a long way. Yes, it does. It does. What are the secrets to a good relationship in marriage? I think being open with each other and sharing everything with each other. Okay. Do you have any advice about being a good parent? Mm, not really, but Margaret ought to have a lot of, she should have had a lot of comments on that. She, <laughs> she raised five, <laughs> and I just had one. Whoa. But, but you all live next door to each other now. I have, Where, for, have for you forever? 50 years. 50 years, isn't that something? Uh, or more, maybe more, isn't it, Margaret? So your son probably enjoyed her children she, like yes, you he did. did the he games. Did. They all felt like red, uh, brothers, brothers, and brothers instead of cousins. cousins. That's wonderful. Do you, um, is there anything you'd do differently as a mother now? I'm sure I would. Do you know what it could be? Well, I would try not to expect so much, I guess. Yeah, okay. It's hard not to want mm -hmm. the best for them, isn't it? What would you try to do differently as a spouse it, within, within your marriage? Would there anything you'd do differently? Hmm. Well, I always said my husband couldn't. I, I was keeping trying to teach him how to run the washing machine and the, the dryer and, and the micro, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. he, was not, uh, he was not good in the, in the kitchen. Okay. I, I'd tell him, people mm. in front of him, he couldn't find a tablespoon. But he could do just about anything he, like electrical work, plumbing work, he did for all the family. Oh, wow. And they called him. He had other talents, and he, Yes, he had other talents. That's wonderful. What would you say love is? Well, it's a close, warm feeling with that person. Mm-hmm. Have you have your ideas of love changed over time? Not really. Mm -mm. Now that you're all adults, what are your relationships with your siblings? I know Bud's gone. Is your other brother gone too? Mm -hmm. They're both gone. Well, but you evidently had good relationships because mm -hmm. you lived next door. Where was mm -hmm. the other brother? Did he stay here? He lived. He lived on West Avenue. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you all town. stayed in town. Mm -hmm. Okay. What did he do? I know Bud was a teacher. Well, Bob never got to go to college. He, yes. he did go. To, my daddy was a barber, mm -hmm. and that time that you did what your daddy did, so of they course. sent him to barber school, which was a waste of time and money. Okay. Because he was a time, he was a meticulous sort of a person, mm. and he'd try to cut hair for the family members, and they'd get into fights. You know, oh, almost dear. <laughs> just quit, just quit. That's enough. <laughs> quit, quit. <laughs> just a little bit more. I got to get this fixed. But, okay. He, yeah. he and, he well, and he Bud would, were two brothers that was as uh, close to being opposite as any two ever were. Well, that's not unusual. You, you really, um, I taught school for a long time, and I've, I learned that. Um, how are you like your parents? Well, I don't know, because I don't remember too much about my dad. Mm -hmm. The yeah. only main thing I remember about him was, and it must have been when I was tiny, was he had me standing in the center of the kitchen table with the paddle in one hand and a <laughs> dose of medicine in the other. 
Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> but everybody, I remember, he was, must have been a wonderful person. That's the main thing I remember about when he died, well, how people said, you had a wonderful daddy. You were, oh. He was a good person. He, you know, yes. just all well, those kind of comments. Oh, and what a Bob wonderful was a thing lot like do. him in that, the older brother. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's wonderful. Who in the family is most like you? Who in my family uh -huh, now? Uh-huh. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. Did your other brother have a family? Did Bob have a no, family? No, they had no children. Okay. What have you uh, have What have you always regretted not asking your parents? Not asking them. Yes, something that you would like to know about them that you forgot to, that you never did ask. I can't think. Mm -hmm. Putting names and dates on photographs. <laughs> oh, yes, okay. yes. I try to tell all these people, these younger people, when you make a picture and you get a copy of it, put the name of who it is and the date on it. Because I've got numerous, numerous pictures. I have no idea. Oh my goodness! My husband made several. He made a he made a family uh, album. album. Yes. Her, her, or my husband, uh, and he said all these bridges look alike. <laughs> okay. So, uh, but he did, he did make that, he and, did. and we had, uh, and you and had fact, that with several. the family. Uh -huh. Well, that's good. That's what I'm doing for my family now, mm -hmm. and I wish my mother and daddy were still around because mm -hmm. I would like to ask them that. Who knows you better than anyone? I guess my son does, mm -hmm. and he calls me a chronic. Worrier. That's uh, my biggest fault. I worry about everything. Oh, Helen. And yet you've lived so long. I know. What a wealth of way. <laughs> <laughs> other than your family, who are the most important people in your life now? Other than family. Well, I got a lot of friends. My, some, some of my older friends are already gone. Yes. And I miss them. But, mm -hmm. uh, I've got several good, close friends now. Okay. And what, what do you think is the key to good friendship? Being there for each other. Okay. Who makes you laugh the hardest? Hmm. Who makes me laugh the hardest? Is you talking about a family member or no, a friend? No, just anybody. Do you have a TV station that makes you a program or anything? Oh, I watch these Andy Griffiths. Oh, these are Andy Griffiths reruns. I enjoy them. Yeah, them. yeah. <laughs> I know. Some Do you have a favorite time. book or author? Well, I read a lot, and, I, okay. and there are a lot. I got a list of a lot of them. But and I go to I live close to the library and mm -hmm. I go every week and I read two to three books a week. Wow! And you do you have a favorite author or a book of all that? Well, what I, kind of books do you like? I just like uh, novels. Novels. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have a favorite movie? Music. Movie. Movie. Gone with the wind, I, I guess. Knew it. <laughs> I, I knew it. I knew say it. that, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you said your best trips were going to Pan uh, Daytona Beach and up to uh, Gatlinburg. Gatlinburg. That's wonderful. What's the most? Which one was the most amazing? The most amazing? Mm-hmm. Mm, I guess Gatlinburg. I like oh, the mountains yeah. too. We're so lucky here, aren't we, to be close to so to both. If you go, if you could go any somewhere you've never been, where would it be? There's so many of those. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Would you rather be living somewhere else? No. You never have lived no. anywhere else, have you? I never have. I've never belonged, to, but any other church, and I do got to get this in. Yes, plus yes. For First Baptist Church, these Presbyterians have taken over today. <laughs> yeah, I know but they I got have. To I was going to get to that too. <laughs> well, I know right, you're first. I just jumped the gun. Yeah. Okay. And uh, you all got a new church out there too, mm -hmm. on Dover mm -hmm. Ferry. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but I love your old church downtown. I did too. I didn't. I didn't, didn't want us to go, but we yeah. needed to. Well, we all have to mm -hmm. make sacrifices. Make a change. Yeah. You know, change is a dirty word for most older people. Oh yes, <laughs> but that's the only sure thing in this world. That's right. <laughs> <clears throat> all right. Would you rather? No. Let's see. 
What are the five things you couldn't live without? Couldn't live without? Mm hmm. Wow. Your car. Hmm? Your car. Well, that's right. My car, although I drive it less and less and less, mm -hmm. I don't go anywhere in the afternoon in the car because of the traffic. But uh, I do get out uh, maybe an hour in the mornings. Yes. And go. I can go to the beauty shop, mm -hmm. and I can go to the grocery store, and I can go to the bank. You're still and I can get to the dollar store. Good, <laughs> good. So and I'd you can get to, to the doctor, I bet, if you have to. Do you, have, when you go to your doctor's appointments, can you get there by no, yourself? No, somebody takes me there. Good. Well, good. We all need somebody there with us yeah. for that, I think. Um, what's the bravest thing you've ever done? The bravest. I don't know if I've ever done anything brave that you'd consider brave. Well, okay. You just, you, um, all right. What's your most beloved personal possession? Oh, my most beloved personal possession. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I got too many of them to, to designate one. Okay, okay. What would I be surprised to learn about you? <laughs> well, that uh, well, I'll tell you uh, one thing. You've already told me that you could still drive around town at a ninety-three. I think that's pretty good. Well, yeah, but what can I do? It? How can I not drive around? That's right. Well, places, yeah, I talked got, to Adele. She's well, had I've some had time. I've had to do that months and months at a time, and I'm really glad to get it back. Mm -hmm. What were the best years of your life? I guess my early marriage. What was the hardest decision you've made? Hmm. Hardest decision. Mm. Mm -hmm. Stump me. Okay. Well, you've lived a very full life right here, and you haven't had many like this. No, I, I, I had this place on my neck taken off yes. first, several days ago, and mm -hmm. I told them that day that the only here I've lived to be ninety-three. And I have had no surgeries except a DNC and this. Oh, how marvelous. Well, you've been so fortunate. Haven't I been Helen. blessed? Yes, you have been blessed. Um, I know you believe in God. Mm -hmm. Has life made you more cynical or more hopeful? More cynical, I guess. Why do you think? I don't know. I just think back of days that used to be and they're not that way anymore. The closeness of neighbors mm -hmm. and um, that kind of thing, and the smallness of the town. Well, I like the smallness of the town. Yes. And, and of course, we needed to grow, but I don't like it getting more citified. Well, you remember, I'm sure, when they built the dam. Mm -hmm. Do you think that had anything to do with the growth of the town when the dam came? I'm sure it did. Were there, do you remember any parts of the town that mm -hmm. used to flood when the mm -hmm. rains came? Mm -hmm. When uh, before the dam was made, mm -mm. okay. Somebody said West Avenue was a low area somewhere out in that way. Well, now let's see. Out, 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 uh, out of where Phil and Mark live, out in that area, uh, I, they still get some water in in places mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you believe that people can change? Yes, I do. What do you? Ex Consider the most important world events during your lifetime. World War II, I guess. Okay. Do you think life is harder or easier than when you were young, and why? Harder. Why do you think so? Well, you have a lot of decisions to make, and I don't know. It just you worry about whether you make the right ones or not. Mm -hmm. Well, I know you've seen a lot of change in Cartersville in 93 uh -huh. years. What? Yeah. 
That, that's what got me into this. Okay. We go out once a week to eat together. You. And and I can't do it. I can't stop it to save my life. Well, what we is go, it? We go along and we turn on to Cherokee Avenue. And I said, well, there's the old Eugene Smith home. Okay. And there's the old Henson home. Mm -hmm. And a little, little further, the old Renfro home. And over mm -hmm. here, the old Finley home. And mm -hmm. the old Fleetwood home. Mm -hmm. and, and it just... And, and I that's think about it, it's all different now. I know, I know. But the homes are still there. Yeah, the homes are there. Yes, and yes, I think they, it's yeah. good, uh -huh. don't you? Yeah, I do too. Yeah. Oh, that's great. And uh, I bet you remember when they um, paved a lot of the streets. I, I thought about that a while ago when, when somebody mm -hmm. asked them uh, uh, mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. that. I remember when our street was paved mm -hmm. and... Uh, and now, which street are you talking about? That was about? Gilmer Street. Gilmer Street, and, okay. And uh, they let us, they, they blocked it, they held it off to traffic, but they would let us get out there with our bicycles and wagons. And yes. I had a good time playing before they opened it up to the people. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. We used to play in the streets, too, <laughs> at dusk. Well, you know, I remember Gilmer Street Church was over there. Uh, Yes. Back where the museum is. Now I know too. it. And I was so pleased last Saturday I took my grandsons there. And there is a monument there for Gilmer Street Baptist mm -hmm. Church. Mm -hmm. And when it was formed in 1941. And I was so glad they put that there. My, my brother sold that lot to them. Did he? Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. And I'm sure when I get home, I'm going to think of half a dozen things. Well, just I call me up. Said. <laughs> I could have said. <laughs> oh. If you could do anything over in your life, what would it be? If I could do anything over. Mm. Well, you spoke of education earlier. Well, yes, if I, I could have gone to school earlier, I would mm -hmm. have loved to have done that. Mm -hmm. Really made a... Made more, mm -hmm. of a, yeah. Made yourself more mm -hmm. available. What do you hope to be remembered for? Uh, being able to help people from some way or some, mm -hmm. I ask God to put somebody in my path every day that I can help in some way or encourage mm -hmm. or do something for. How wonderful. Well, that's marvelous. Um, what, what volunteer work have you been able to do? Well, the only thing that I could think of when they were doing that a while ago about the church shop, I, I take my turn, my, my circle mm -hmm. takes a turn with working yes. in the church shop. Yes, would you and like then, to add anything else about the church shop that we might have missed before? No, but I think it's a wonderful mission, thing, mm -hmm. blessing to the town, really. It certainly is. Uh, which, which has been the most, uh, and that's been personally rewarding for you to be there, I'm sure. And do you have a church affiliation? Yes, I do. <laughs> Only church I've ever belonged to. Oh, and for how For 77 many? years. Oh, I've my goodness. To First you Baptist must be church. one of their oldest members then. One well, of the oldest. There are several that are older. Okay. But uh, they're not active anymore. Yes, yeah. As, no. um, I guess I'm the oldest active. Mm -hmm. Well, no, no, there's another one. Henry Graves is is older than I am, and he comes every Sunday. He can barely get there, but he comes. Well, bless his heart. Uh, what are the church activities in which you have participated and enjoyed? Well, I've enjoyed WMU, still do go to WMU mm -hmm. meetings and and uh, anything, almost anything they have. Yeah. We must tell the people here that we are take, taping two um, interviews today because we've alluded to the one uh, earlier than you where Adele Howell and Margaret Bridges talked to us about the church shop and the uh, uh -huh. other. So they might want to get their uh, DVD and, and listen uh -huh. to that, too, uh -huh. and learn more about the town. I failed to mention my mm -hmm. husband's affiliation with Dale's husband over the years. Oh, okay. Well, tell us about well, that. Well, he, he just... Uh, I don't remember what brought it on and how it started, do you? Well, I didn't hear the first I said uh, that uh, I, I failed to mention 
my husband's affiliation with yeah, Enterprise I'm Oil. Imagine it too, because he helps Sam get going. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> anyway, Enterprise Oil. Enterprise yeah. Oil Company. Mm -hmm. yeah. we get a plug in for them, can't we? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he went to he went to work Sam for them, and then later, later uh, has some stock in the company. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's up on 41, the one I mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. and um, Dale was instrumental. She ran that after her husband mm -hmm. passed away. Mm -hmm. Well, with Homer, was good help. Homer was, yeah. That. Well, we'll um, we we missed that on her. We may have to yeah, get her back and talk about that. Yeah. Uh, well, we thank you so much for being participating with us and letting us know what Cartersville was like as you were growing up. Now, downtown wasn't nearly as big as it is now, I assume. Well, it's pretty much the same downtown, downtown. now. Downtown. Uh -huh. It's the outlying uh -huh. areas. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, I remember just 25 years ago, there were no, um, there were, I don't remember many at all um, subdivisions out in the county. Mm -mm. You know, around here. That's all coming That's since I've been here in 25 come years. Come and come and come. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm saying they're taking all of our green space. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much and much happiness to you. Well, thank and you. And 93 more years. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh if you want just, to. Just, well, you're in good health. I hope I'm as in, it live that long and it's in good health as you. Well, I'm grateful. Yeah, that's wonderful. Thank you so much.